Hello and welcome everyone to PM Studios Tutorial 6 on Small Basic. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use the math library. And in order to do this, I'm going to have to backtrack over to text windows. So please forgive me. I really, I know I made a mistake with this one. Considering that this is my first programming language tutorial series, I am. Um, I'm learning as I go. So let's get started right away. I'm just going to declare a loop here, um, like I showed you guys in tutorial 4. So I'm going to do begin and then text window dot write line. Welcome to the SB even slash odd finder. Alright, so as you can tell, I'm going to show you how exactly how to uh, use the math library by um, showing you an even odd finder, and I'll sh go over some of the uh, other functions while I'm making it. But, um, so after we do that, we're going to want to do text window dot write, and then um, num one equals window dot read number. Okay, and then we're going to do number two, or num two, equals math, and this is the new library that I was talking about, so math, um, dot, and as you can tell, um, we can take absolute values, which takes any number, and it gives you the number which is the distance from zero. So if you have negative 32.233, it's still 32.233 away from zero, so it puts out the the uh, the positive value no matter what um, tangent uh, it gives it in radians normally you want it in degrees but either way um, square roots you can take the sine uh, you can round it so like instead of 3.233 or 32.233 it'd give you 32 um, and if it's above 5.0 um, then it'll give you 33 um, so, um, remainder is what we're going to be working with. Power is, if you could guess, pi is 3.14. Um, natural logs or ln on your um, on your graphing calculators. Um, so, by the way, we're going to continue on with remainder, and we're going to do num1, <coughs> comma two. And what that does is it declares that we're going to take number one and we're going to divide it by two. And it'll give us a remainder for the number. <coughs> so we're going to toss in our if statement if num1 or number two, sorry, num2 equals zero, then we're going to do text window dot right line. <coughs> And in the quotes, we're going to do num1 is, is a even number. I'm going to close that out. And then we're going to type in else. Um, <coughs> I'm going to put out another right line. And we're going to do num1 is an odd number. Alright, so we're going to end our if statement. And just to wrap up the loop, we're going to do the do again statements. So text window dot write line. And I've gone over all this before in prior tutorials. Um, would you like to perform another operation? And then in the parentheses, y or no, y or n. All right. Let me scroll down a little. If do again equals y or do again equals lowercase y and then um, 
go to begin and if all right there we go ah uh, um so instead of doing this we could do your number is an e an even number and your number is an odd number all right there we go Okay, so that should do it. Um, let's see how it works. Yep, there we go. All right, so welcome to the SP odd, even odd finder. Um, I think I made a mistake there. Let's scroll to the top. Oh yeah, um, that's my mistake. Text window dot right line. I was going too fast for myself. Um, please enter your number here. All right, so that should fix that right there. Yeah, so please enter your number here. Um, 12 should be an even number. Yeah, your number is even. Yes, I'd like to perform another. Please enter. Um, 13 should be an odd number. Your number is odd. No, I would like. All right, so everything works on that perfectly. Um, again, you could do right at the very beginning of this loop, you could do, um, or not CLS, I'm sorry. Um, Text window dot clear, and then again right here, right after you enter the number. All right. So look at this. Uh, Twelve again. It's an even number. Yes. Thirteen. All right. No. Cool. All right. That's the entire tutorial. I'm sorry I had to backtrack, but you can experiment with the math. Math. Um library now. Um, I've been working with logs lately. Um, it's it's a pretty cool library. Anyways, um, please comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to visit our website at PM or psychoticmonkeystudios.webs.com. Thank you. Bye.